The blackpole warbler is one of many transient species encountered during migration season and is one we classify as a long-distance migrant. But that doesn't quite do it justice. Blackpole warblers have one of the most insane migrations of any of the birds we encounter here. These humble warblers, which weigh about 11 to 12 grams when we encounter them, embark on a journey that takes them up to 20,000 kilometers and can include over 3,000 kilometers over open ocean. It's a really remarkable journey. In order to even survive it, they need to shape their entire physiology around flying as efficiently as possible. So a number of the adaptations they have include very long pointed wings which lend themselves to very efficient long distance flight as well as an ability to very rapidly pack on large amounts of very energy-dense fats. Unlike humans, most birds have the ability to metabolize fat directly instead of having to break it down, transport it to our lymph nodes, etc, etc, etc. As a result, many migratory birds use this fat as fuel whenever they're embarking on long migratory flights. For most birds, they'll usually be traveling a few hundred kilometers at a stretch, which, don't get me wrong, is still pretty impressive. You can't get most humans doing that. However, black bull warblers take it to something of an extreme. As I mentioned before, part of their migration route involves launching off the east coast of the United States over the Atlantic Ocean, where they then are steered south and west by trade winds over the Atlantic. Why, you may ask, don't they just stay over land the entire time and ride the eastern seaboard down to Florida? Well, because that would be sensible, of course. And this is a bird that exists only to overachieve. So instead, they stay over open ocean for 3,000 kilometers and just under four days. Since they're over the open ocean, this journey by definition is non-stop. They have no options but to arrive at the other side or die trying. Obviously, they try to do their best to avoid this. When we encounter them, most of these black pole warblers weigh between 11 and 12 grams. However, before departing from New England, they've been recorded weighing as much as 24 grams, nearly doubling their body mass in adipose tissue. And it's probably not just fat that they run on, there's probably a decent amount of muscle catabolysis going on on that flight as well. It's a very risky strategy, it involves sacrificing your own ability to fly in order to get just that little bit further, but if it means that you actually survive to get to the other side, that's worth it. Blackpool warblers and their migratory journey is amazing. I was shocked to learn just how much time they spend over the ocean. It wasn't anything approaching what I was expecting. I was expecting them to have a maybe 10,000 kilometer journey that, that maybe went over the Gulf of Mexico, but going over the Atlantic Ocean for four days is definitely a cut above. Just goes to show that no matter how much you think you know about birds, they always manage to pull out something that can surprise you. It's one of the reasons I like them.